we can use the slake test to have a look at how well our soil can retain its structure in water. So the idea is that when soil is held together by biology, um, when roots are interacting with soil biology and um, organisms are breaking down organic matter into nutrients and other things, they also produce glomalin and glomalin is insoluble in water and this is what helps aggregated structure to hold together um, as aggregates. So when you immerse aggregates of soil in water that are held together by biology, they shouldn't break down and the water should stay clear. If the soil is compacted and it's held together by compaction, when you immerse it in water, it will not hold together and it will actually disintegrate and the water will become murky. So we're looking at how biologically active the soil is and how um, well it can hold together in water and it gives you also an indication of how well it withstands heavy rainfall and whether your soil will wash away or stay in your fields. So we're taking a sample for the slate test and um, we need a fist size sample of soil from the whole block um, and then we're going to put it in a bag and label it. So this is the fourth year herbal lay field, so we're going to label it fourth year herbal lay and sample site one. Um, so I'm going to go through the block and you can combine this with other tests, so once you say done your rooting depth and um, riser sheaths and nodulation and earthworm counts, you can then take the sample from the block. So I'm just going to take, um, and maybe not get any stones, some soil from different parts of the block until I get a fist size sample, um, which I'm then going to put um, into the bag. Um, so that's about a fist, put it in the bag, and then we'll take that away and dry it overnight and do the rest of the test um, back in the office. Um, so we've brought our soil sample back from the field and we've dried it um, so that it's fully dry and this can take one to three days. Um, and then you just need a small palm full of aggregates. So we're looking to get three aggregates, each one a one to three millimeter um, sort of diameter. So I'm gonna pick out three from this pile and place them into the sieve. So they're quite tiny. One, two, three. And then now I've got my three, I'm going to place the sieve into the water. And actually, what we need to do is have the stopwatch ready. Um, so that we can time um, for five minutes and observe how they break down. So I'm just going to get my stopwatch out. Right, so I'm going to gently put them in. Yeah, and start. We've observed the soil underwater for five minutes and it's actually scored really well. The water's remained very clear and there has hardly been any breakdown, I mean, basically no breakdown. So we're going to score this slate test a two because the lumps of soil have remained intact um, and that means that it's scored really well um, and the water's clear so the soil is stable for, um, to wetting. So I'm going to record that in the Soil Mentor app. So I'm going to record it as a two, um, and then I'm going to take a photo.